All right, so let's try number 42 and 8.3. So we want to eventually graph r is 1 minus sine theta. So I think the first thing I need to do is try to... <laughs> Those are wrong. <laughs> so I think the first thing I need to do is turn this around so we can see. Hey, sorry, look over here. So cheap. Oh. 3D printed glasses frames. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they need a little work, so. <laughs> Alright, so I think the first thing I need to do is plot this in the R theta plane, right? Okay, so I'm going to use theta as my input and r as my response because I think I know how to graph this if I think about r of theta as a function, or r as a function of theta. You guys with me on that? Okay, so what's this look like? What do you guys see in that? The sine wave. Okay, good. Sine wave shifted up one. Up one. Upside down. Flipped 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 down. Over. But it flipped over first, right? Yeah. So I need to flip over. So... Sine wave, right? Flipped over. Shifted up one. So my midline is going to be at one high, right? And we're going to start going down. And what's the amplitude on this thing? One. One? Oops, this is crummy drawing. I really need a giant sine wave. Just while people are buying you presents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I'll look on Amazon. I bet I can find it. So this goes from 0 up to 2, right, in radius? Okay, so where are, where are my important values? Like 0, nine, amplitude, pi, two, 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 pi, pi over 2, pi. 3 pi over 2. two where's 2 pi? Right there. Right there? It should be. I mean, it's one period away from the beginning. Ah, good. Yeah, it's a whole period out, right? So it should be the next, not the next spot across the midline from the beginning, but the next spot across the midline going the same direction. You guys see that? Okay. Yes? Yeah. All right. Now wait. Now I need polar graphing, right? So I go over here and make an xy plane. Right? And to assist me, I need some radii. What are my radii going to vary between? Here? One and one, or one and zero. Negative one. Zero. zero and two, right? Okay, so I'm going to, zero radius is just at the middle, right? And then. I need a radius one circle, and then yeah, a radius two circle seems like a good idea. Cool. Okay. All right. So at the beginning, where is this guy? What does that guy mean in x y land? Maybe I'll do x, y, land in blue. You start off with a radius of 1. Yeah, so this means radius 1 and angle 0. zero. Okay, so radius 1, angle 0 should be... The point on the 1. Yeah, that should be right here. 1, comma 0. That's all with that. Okay, where's the next point I know about? Where's this guy, I guess? Yeah, that's at zero. Okay, good. That's radius is zero, angle is pi over two. Yeah, it's good. Doesn't matter that the angle's 90, really, right? Just that the radius is zero. So that tells me this goes through here and here. And now I have to figure out how it gets there, right? You guys kind of with me on that? So, as the angles go from 0 to pi over 2, what does the radius do? Yeah, it decreases from 1 to 0. So I need some kind of a thing like this. You guys with me on that? Alright, 
So that's this first piece in blue. Uh, oh, no more colors. No more colors. All right. So we're going to dot the next piece. So that's going to start at the origin, right? And then where's this? What does this dot represent? That represents r is 1. And theta is Pi. Okay, so now I need to make dashes going from the origin to r is 1, theta is pi. Where's r is 1, theta is pi? Maybe I'll denote that with a little x. Good. That's at negative 1, comma 0, right? Let's go to the angle pi oh, over here. Go out one unit. Guys with me? Okay, now what is, what's my what's my graph supposed to do between there? Increase. Good, my angles go from pi over 2 to pi, right? So that's in that quadrant, okay? quadrant 2. And my ang or my radii are going to go from 0 to 1. So I'm going to get some kind of a, oops, and I'm supposed to be dashing this one. A lot of colors. You guys see that? Why would you dash it? Oh, I was just trying to oh, color code the pieces. <coughs> All right, so now what's my next thing going to do? It's going to go up to 2 in the third quadrant. Okay, good. So we're going from r is 1 and theta is pi up to r is 2 and theta is 3 pi over 2, which means by, I'm at the x, right? And then my radius needs to go out to 2 when I get to 3 pi over 2. Mm -hmm. So that means I need to get to like here. So it's going to be this. Yeah, so I need some kind of a woo thing. Like that, maybe? Oh, Give or take? Hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this thing's a hard. So this next one, right? is going to go from the radius of 2 down to a radius of 1 in the angles between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. So that's going to draw that same thing backwards. Right? So this, this thing is actually a little hard, right? And so if I look at the problem that they actually asked me to do, so I fully ignored the problem, right? So part A says, make a table of values for r is 1 minus sine theta, include a bunch of values, right? OK, so most of those values are right here, kind of listed out. They ask for a couple more. But you can get those off triangles or something. Cool. Then they say, use the table to graph the equation r is 1 minus sine theta in the xy plane. The curve is called a cardioid. Okay, graphed it. Great. Awesome. It's a cardioid. That sort of makes sense. Why would they call it cardioid? Because of the like cardio. Yeah. cardio. Cardio, cardioid. Yeah. So at what point does the cardioid, r is 1 minus sine theta, intersect a circle of radius 1 half centered at the origin? That's a weirder question. So where do I get, where do I think I could get that information? Good. Yeah, I could just draw a circle. That should be like this, right? Yeah. Circle of radius a half. So I'm thinking like maybe here and here. Yeah. At all points where the radius is. Perfect. Yeah, and if I want a better answer, right? That's all the points where the radius is a half. You guys see that? Okay, so to solve, I should set the radius equal to a half. Okay, so if I set r as a half, I get 1 half equals 1 minus sine theta. Then what? Let's subtract 1. Maybe. Okay. Subtract 1, you'll get minus 1 half is minus sine theta. So multiply by negative 1. Good. Okay. Multiply by negative 1, right? Put the signs on both sides. So you get 1 half is sine theta. Then what? Yeah, then you should apply arc sine to both sides. 
So you'll get arc sine or inverse sine, whatever. I don't care which one you use. You want rad out, right? Yeah, and you need these in radian. So that'd be about 0.5 to. What? Is that just no, pi over 6? Yeah, Okay, cool. So just to confirm, because I tend to get that triangle screwed up, right? I got pi over 3, 90, pi over 6. 2, 1, square root of 3. Well, the small thing would always And I'm cool. looking for, yeah, sine. Mm -hmm. So, the smallest angle would always point at the smallest side. Yeah, perfect. Or you can use logic. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like to draw pictures. I really learned to do math with big crayons. <laughs> so, I think I got theta's pi over 6. Uh, wait. What? Gabe, you've lied to me. The, you've lied to me, Gabe. Well, when you take uh, inverse sine, you're only getting this. Good. We're only getting answers on the right-hand side. You guys see that? So this one is the point that I kind of labeled square. So you're partially right? Yeah, so where's the other one? Plus or minus. minus. Yeah, good. Wait, what? No, <laughs> oh, wait. Do we have to do that so a plus or minus thing? Yeah, so remember with the cosine one, you can do plus or minus. But with this one, you got to do 180 minus that. Yeah, perfect. So the other one is pi minus pi over 6. And that's where you get your smiley face from. And then they didn't actually ask me for the angles. They asked me for the coordinates of the points. Well, Right, so at what points? Pi over 6. Good, cool. So you might think to yourself, well, when theta is pi over 6, what's the only other thing I know about it? Well, that it hits the circle of radius a half, right? So 1 half comma pi over 6 and 1 half comma 5 pi over 6, right? A little careful here. What are these points written in? Polar. Yeah, these are in polar, right? So this is the answer to part C in polar. If you want the answer to part C in rectangular, what do you need to do? Yeah, cram these in the conversion formulas, right? You guys with me on that? It's much easier to express them in polar right now because I know them in polar. Well, it's just so much more useful. Yeah, and it's much more useful in terms of like what I mean by this cardioid, right? All right, so then they say, oh, graph the curve r is 1 minus sine 2 theta. Compare this graph to the cardioid. But that's going to be a whole other example. I'll stop this, and then we can graph the other one.